Hi, welcome again to my channel. Wow, channel. Okay, um, this is Veronique Home and Garden. I'll be showing you today a hack on how to bake um, the vegetables which are leftovers, you know, or if, for example, you, you made something and then you have an excess of vegetables and then you do not want to make a soup out of it, then you can also bake it. And there is one baking which I would like to show you is um, most of us when we bake or most people would tell you that if you're going to bake something, you have to make, you know, layers and layers of this and that. But for me, I find it very uh, easy or it's tastier if I will first... Um, um, if I mix everything with cheese, pepper, and everything, you know, the chopped vegetables, and then put it, I know, I'm Deutsch sprechen, it's my life, but yeah. Okay, so what you have to do first is to put butter, wrap butter here on your baking dish. They're very generous with butter. When I bake, I'm so generous with it. And then, um, you could also put, um, normally, it's very nice to put a bit, a bit of, or a lot, or a bit, whatever you want, of, um, you know, garlic. If you have a garlic presser, it, um, it would be very helpful at the beginning because you see I'm from the Philippines and we just we just hit everything, you know, and we do not crush garlic. But but then um, I resisted this for a long time and then I learned how to use it. And I would say that if you can buy one, buy it and buy a very good one. You invest um, in, a gar in a garlic presser press because it would really really help you my butter is a bit hard you know because I didn't know that I'm going to bake actually I, it's already very late and then I found out that I have excess vegetables and I do not want to throw it and I don't also would like to make a soup so I'm going to bake this for tomorrow you know bake dish it's always very good the next day so you would see here i have here vegetables and this is already mixed i already mixed it everything is there i am not the believer of putting the cheese on top of the vegetables or whatever you are going to bake because the taste actually is not in harmony with each other so what they do is I really put everything together, the cream and so on, and I do not put a lot of cream, just enough to, um, to taste. So I already put pepper and salt. Because later when you do this, this is from the Philippines, this one I took here. So I brought this home to Germany. So if you put the cheese together with the vegetables and the pepper and cream and everything, and when it's baked, you, you have the harmony of the taste. It is not separated from each other. So I, I prefer it's, it's more tasty and the taste is more interesting. So you give it a try, just mix everything and it's easier. And maybe I have I need 170 centigrade in the oven, 20, 25 minutes, and it's done. Well, it depends on what you want, but this is just only a tip from Veronique Home and Garden. Ciao, thank you for listening.